Hey guys, it's Greg. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to part two of Write Riffs Like EVH. Now I know what you're thinking. Thank you, man. I didn't even learn part one of the last Write Riff Like EVH part one or whatever. Ugh. Shut up and don't be silly. Watch this one. I'll have a link in the video description below to part one, and then watch that one too. You're welcome. Okay, so in part one, we looked at specific examples and chords from his ideas in Unchained. In part two, I'm gonna be looking at specific ideas chords and timings from Hot For Teacher. I'm gonna be specifically combining the second riff and the third riff. Okay, so unlike part one, we focused on major chords, suspended chords. Part two is gonna focus on inverted chords and his kind of double kind of picking uh, with palm muting instead of triplets or quadruplets or single notes. He'd always kind of palm mutes in two to kind of give it that swing kind of groove that he would always have. So I'm com essentially combining the palm muting section from riff two with the uh, riff three that we all know. So riff two sounds like this for reference. <laughs> Riff three is the famous. So I'm just taking the palm muting from that and adding the same inverted chords from riff two. What's an inverted chord, first of all? Okay, an inverted chord is a really fancy term for a first and a fourth. Now, typically when we play a power chord, it's a first and a fifth, which sounds like this. Okay, an inverted chord is like this. So a famous example of this, of course. Okay, now we've all heard that silly riff, right? Probably one of the most famous of all time. So an inverted chord, again, in layman's terms, who cares about the first and the fourth? The big takeaway is you're just taking your first finger and barring it. Specifically, I'm playing the third and fourth strings, the D and G strings. I'm playing the fifth fret, seventh and eighth. And the last time I'm sliding from eight to seven. Now the only other part to this riff really is the end of it which is um, a little bit of the A blues scale that I'm putting in there, but we'll get to that in a second. So let's start from the beginning, the fifth fret of the D and G, and then three sets of palm the A string twice. Now this is the same thing every single time, I'm just changing what chord I'm playing first, but you're gonna keep palm muting the A string the same way every single time. So we have five, now seven, now eight, and then the only time this different is the very ending, I'm doing eight slide to seven, so I'm gonna do one less palm mute because we have two notes now, the second note will take place of the second palm mute, so it goes like, so that last one is two, two, one, instead of two, 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 because now we're gonna go from eight slide to seven. So all together. Okay, now for the very ending of this, I'm doing the same thing he's doing where we're doing this giant kind of hammer-on um, of the A blue scale. So this is all on the A string. I'm playing open, hammer five, hammer six, hammer seven. Okay, sounds like that. And I'm just adding two notes um, just to spice it up a little bit. So now I'm doing five on the G string and then seven on the D string. Okay, so it sounds like this slowly. Or in Hot for Teacher, he goes. So I'm just slightly changing it because again, the idea is not do exactly what Eddie's doing, but putting your own spin on it. And once you learn this, put your own spin on this. Don't play exactly what I'm doing. Change the chords, change the order, even ch changing the fill a little bit. So you're not doing, again, exactly what I'm doing. It's just in the style of EVH. Okay, so real quick to review again, we're gonna start at the fifth fret, D and G. Okay, now we're doing our palm mute, three sets of two, seven, eight, and then the very last one, eight slide to seven, and then we have our little blue scale fill, which is on the A string, open, hammer five, hammer six, hammer seven, all in one pick. 
and then five on G, seven on D. And then to kind of end this, to give it some resolution, I just end with a natural A5 power chord. So all together. All right, that'll do it for this lesson, guys. All right, guys, so that'll do it for part two of this lesson series. What did you think? Did you love it? Did you super love it? Did you super duper duper love it? Or were you one of those crazy people that for some reason hated it? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, like, share, subscribe, join the Patreon, and I will summon you for part three in all my other videos. <laughs>